these three brand new no-code AI tools have just raised millions of dollars from investors. But I guarantee you that you've never heard of them before. And so today I'm gonna to be introducing you to these groundbreaking new tools. And I'm also gonna be showing you how you can use them to create incredibly beautiful designs in seconds, build fully fledged web apps and deploy them in minutes, and even automate your entire life with AI. First up, a tool that is the brainchild of Albert and Alex two Harvard grad students who got together to build an incredible platform. You see, while they were working in large companies, they got kind of frustrated with the inefficiencies and how complicated it was to set up AI workflows. Now, this was actually an idea that resonated with Y Combinator, an accelerator program that accepted them in the program. And over the next couple of months, they would focus all of their time building out the first version of this platform. And the result of these endless hours and sleepless night was this buddy over here platform called Vectorshift. And after launching the first version of their product, they were able to raise more than $3 million from Y Combinator, Soma Capital, Pioneer Ventures, and a handful of other Silicon Valley based investors. So what is Vectorshift and how does it work? So Vectorshift is a no code and low code AI automations platform. So basically it allows you to create these custom workflows with AI, and then you can turn those into things like chatbots, assistants, but more importantly, you can actually create automations with them, which means that you can have these AI agents take actions on your behalf inside of apps you already use. And if you're completely lost in all this jargon, let me give you a couple examples. You could create an AI agent that goes into your email and basically scans your email, that checks out your CRM, and that automatically sends you a summary of the action tasks that you might have to do inside of Slack, for example. So you train it on exactly how you want it to deliver that summary, then you give it all the data inside your CRM and your email, and finally it takes an action with an automation inside of Slack to deliver that output. Output. Another great example of what you could do is that you could basically have it just from the transcript of a Zoom call with a potential customer. You could have it create a customer proposal based on a pre-existing format that you've already created and it'd be highly customized to the customer. Okay, now let's log into the platform. I'm gonna show you how this works. So when you log in, you see this. Actually, I created a first one here, but basically on the left-hand side, you have pipelines. This is kind of the core of everything and it allows you to then use this for a bunch of other stuff. Um, but then there's like storage, which is where you're storing your data, for example. So you want it to upload all the data that you have so you can use it throughout these different workflows. Uh, workflows, pipelines, those are pretty much the same here. And then you can create automations, you can create chatbots and all these other things. And of course there's other tabs here, but I won't talk too much about those today. So let's go back to the pipeline and create a new pipeline, right? Or an AI application if you'd like. Here, the great thing is you have a choice, right? You can actually go ahead and uh, use a template. In this case, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. You can also create them from scratch. I like the search a website template, it allows you to ask questions about a website in natural language. Cool, let's use this one, right? Okay, so boom, just like this, there's a template. They even have notes inside this template, which allows you to understand this a little better. But basically, let me break it down. Input, this is like, what are you inputting into it, right? So once you've created this, is it gonna be a question? Yes, it's gonna be text, yes. Then we wanna load the URL. So here I'll actually go ahead and add my uh, one of my program pages. This right here is the No Code Startup. It's one of our programs where we teach founders how to launch their startup with no code tools. So I'm gonna just plug that in. Then I'm gonna have the choice to over here, what it's gonna do, it's gonna query. So based on the question we asked, it's gonna upload the document. And then these two together will provide the context. Right, and here we're in open AI. And then with the question and the context, you'll be able to create an output. So this over here is basically a prompt. So I put a little prompt here. You are a sales copywriter with extensive experience writing high converting landing pages. Your goal is to provide advice on how people can optimize their landing pages. And then I'm gonna check out the output. Its output is gonna be in text, right? Because I want it to give me advice via text. And now actually all we have to do is come here and run this pipeline. So I'm gonna type in, could you give me recommendations on how to increase the conversions on this landing page. And then we're gonna go ahead and run this and boom, just like that, it's creating it in real time. It's basically just writing a bunch of text with lots of recommendations. Clarify your unique selling proposition. And it's actually uh, giving me a, an example. Transform your startup idea into reality. No coding required. I like that, it's pretty good. And then once we've tested it, we can actually go here and we can deploy. But I'm quite excited about this platform because for me, what it does is it combines a couple things that I love. So like automations um, in Zapier, I usually love, 
but it seems like this is actually a little bit more uh, complete. I love that I, I can attach existing LLMs because it tells me like, great, as these get more powerful, I can just do even more and more powerful things here. And so yeah, super excited to see how this platform evolves. And if you're excited about this, my friends, you will be super excited about this next platform. By the way, if you're looking to launch a business, but you don't know where to get started and you're not technical, then check out the description because we have a free course. We teach you the eight steps you need to go from idea to revenue. Back to the video. Now this story actually starts in the summer of 2022 when a platform called Voban.io got bought by Carta, a large Silicon Valley startup. Now the two founders behind Voban were called Cyril and Ulrich. As they were brainstorming the next company they were gonna build, they were already starting to dread the process of building the web app from scratch having to choose a framework, designing the UI, the UX, having to figure out the back end, having to figure out the front end. Now this frustration led them to the aha moment of creating a platform that would allow users with a single text prompt to be able to build fully fledged web apps in seconds. And that's exactly what they set off to build. So what is this platform and how does it work? Well, it's a platform that just raised half a million dollars called Marbleism. Let's jump in. Now, if we jump onto their website, we can see here that their promise is pretty clear zero to one in minutes. So it allows you to build things like marketplaces, social networks, uh, management apps like Asana, and a couple others. And I'm gonna show you in just a little second. But what's quite interesting about this new startup is that it's actually kind of focused on developers, right? It allows you to build full front ends, back ends, databases, authentication, uh, tap into uh, AI, emails, payments. So basically everything that you would really need. And if we go to the top of the page here, we can pretty much just put in a prompt to describe our company or the app we're trying to create. And it's gonna pump out a first version of it. So let's check this out, see how it works. And for this, I want to build a two-sided marketplace for people to rent out other people's boats. Now I already created a couple of apps here. So I'm gonna go ahead on the top and create new project. Now here, name of project, I'm gonna call it boat. B and B, right? Pretty original, Christian. Let's see, what type of an app is it? I'm gonna say that it is a marketplace. Now under here, I'm gonna put a marketplace for boats. But actually one thing I like is that here they have best practices for these prompts, which is very useful when the app is being built with AI. And then under here, what we see is that we have the light mode or the dark mode. So I'm gonna actually click for light mode in this case. We're gonna go ahead and click next. Now the first thing it does is analyzes the requirements that I put inside of the prompt is pretty cool. Now the first thing it pumps out here are user stories, which is actually super cool. It shows that this has been done very well. User stories are used to describe different features so that we know exactly what we're building or what we're not building and to make it very clear. So it creates a list of these different user stories. Perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and put next. The next thing it's going to do is that it's going to be generating the database schema. So we're going to see what that looks like in just a second. Here it says that it takes about a minute. Boom, and just like that, as you see, it's not only created these six different tables, users, notification, boats, listings, booking, and boat image, but it's also created all the individual data points linked to these different tables as well. Perfect, so I'm gonna click next here. This is really impressive work so far. And now it's actually generating the code base, right? So this process usually takes about five minutes, a little bit longer, as you can imagine, it's a little bit heavier of lifting for this section. So let's see what it gives us. Okay, perfect. So once it's finished loading, we're here, it's gonna ask me to launch the workspace. It's deploying it, then it's gonna tell me to go to the workplace. So let's open this up. One thing I noticed at the top is that they actually have the preview, the editor over here. They also have the logs, they have the mail, they also have the database with the full database here. We can even see the tables, views, functions. Very cool. So it's built out the whole thing. So let's go ahead and come back to the preview now. Okay, so I'm at the login screen. It's created even a logo for this. I go ahead and sign in with the dummy data. So the first thing it brings me to is the home here. I see available boats, excellent. And we see the different boats that are available. I see that there's an image uh, issue here, but anyway, these are all placeholders. So just a question of uh, kind of filling out the uh, available stuff. They also have featured listings. So there's some top listings here, very cool. Now I'm gonna go to uh, boat listings over here. Let's see what it's created for me. Excellent, very similar thing. So it basically has all the available boats. Then create a listing. So this is probably gonna be for us to be able to add a boat. So let's see, yeah, exactly, add a boat. So you can input the information about your boat and it's gonna add it to the um, front end, so to the boat listings. Booking confirmations. Okay, it seems like we don't have any booking confirmations right here. Excellent. And then here in boat listings, I see Wave Rider. This is the yacht that I'm renting out. So uh, yeah, people can rent it out. 
Uh, I can also delete this listing if I want. So overall, it's created a very first version of this. So that's pretty cool. They also here have a profile, I'm guessing. Excellent, yeah, with the basics. And then of course, there is an admin panel as well, right? So now let me close this and go back to the other view. And so again, it's already created all the data behind this. It's created the editor, the logs, the mail, the database, all of that stuff. But if I wanna actually edit it, I can select which screen I'd like to adapt, or I think I could just create a uh, prompt for the overall thing. So just in plain English, I'm gonna describe what I want it to change or adapt or upgrade. I'm gonna click next. So one thing I like here is that it basically describes everything. So it basically breaks down everything that I it thinks I mean, and I can choose to kind of delete any of those if I want, but if I like all of them, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue. Now it says changes have been implemented. Very cool, now let's just save it. And the changes have been pushed to GitHub repository. Nice, and now when I go to boat listings over here, I have a search. So I can put the ocean explorer, there you go. There are three ocean explorers. Wow, everyone has original names for their yachts. So again, this has just added a feature just based on one additional prompt. It's pretty fascinating and I can see why Silicon Valley is betting hard on this startup. They're in their early phases, but definitely check them out and play around because I think that this is very promising start from them. Now, if you found that tool cool, then check out this next one because you're gonna be absolutely mind blown. The name of it is Magic Patterns and it was founded in 2003 by Alex and Teddy. These are two founders that worked more than 10 years together as they were developing another startup called Canopy, also backed by Y Combinator. So they must be pretty good because they were backed again for this next startup that they're building. But what is it and what can it actually do for you? So Magic Pattern allows you to build UI UX designs or web interfaces with just a couple of prompts. Now, the cool thing is that it doesn't just create the actual designs. It also creates all the code behind it. Now the platform has already piqued the interest of more than 10,000 developers who use it to prototype quicker. So whether that's creating a specific section for a website or a specific screen for an app, it can actually do both and it's highly powered by AI. And this startup has been growing at 34% month over month, which is actually pretty big. So let's jump into the user interface and see how it works. Okay, now the first thing I notice when I jump in is that you can do a couple things. You can generate a new UI from scratch with AI. You can add new features to an existing UI design and you can also apply a theme to an existing UI and the other thing is that it allows you to export to react which is code or to export to figma which is more to continue on the design front so it generally seems very well suited for designers and programmers but of course all these tools are making it easier and easier for even non-tech people to be able to build with these awesome tools so let's jump right in I'm gonna create a first version of the UI so here I'm asking it to create a pricing section for my SaaS landing page there should be three tiers with monthly and annual billing let's go ahead and generate it's gonna ask me to log in oh wow this is amazing this is what it's actually created as we can see you can check out the code behind everything so it's not just created the actual design it's also created the code behind it and it seems like there's a little error with this that doesn't move over but generally speaking look it's switching the whole cards as well wow i love it this is very very cool for a first version then what i can do is click here i want to adapt a section make this switch over so I just wanna update and correct this little uh, effect that it had there that wasn't working. Boom, and now when I come back here, look at this. I can just click back and forth and it works beautifully. Excellent. Now what I can do is I can actually choose to export it, copy the code, or I could export it to Figma and continue to design. So this is really nice. It also is mobile optimized, as you can see here. So it works nicely in mobile. And this is just a really cool way for people to uh, actually pump out really nice first uh, versions of their UI UX with little to no experience really. And if I go on their paid plan, I can also adapt the theme here. So you can completely customize your theme, which would allow you to uh, actually make this look exactly like another project that you're already working on to add it inside. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed. It makes sense that these guys are kind of crushing it early on. I'm excited to see where this goes. And by the way, you can check all the links in the description as well if you'd like. To me, it is just so exciting to see brand new tools like these come to market and get backed by Silicon Valley. But what's even more exciting is building a business. So if you don't know how to build a business from scratch, then I highly recommend that you check out this video where I break down every single step to launch a SaaS business from scratch. And no, you don't have to be technical to do so. And if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Let's go.